He says, therefore, we make it our aim, whether present or absent, to be well-pleasing to him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we also are well known to God, and I also trust are well known in your conscience. Key verse is verse 10. For we must all appear before the Bema. Say, everybody say Bema. Go back and look it up. Interesting study. Fascinating study. B-E-M-A. The Bema seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body. So when Jesus says in verse 27 in Matthew 16 that he will come back in the glory of his Father with his angels to reward those according to his own works, the sum total what he's talking about is your conduct. It's not necessarily each individual act that you may do or don't do. It's not necessarily sins of omission or sins of commission. He is looking at the sum total of your life with what you have been given charge to do. Think about it. Think about it. For, for those who, who may have been falling off by the wayside but still in, there's still hope for you. Explain this to you. There's the sum total. How, how does it okay, so the Bema seat is a reference to uh, Greek uh, uh, competition. Okay? This Bema seat is, is used for both legal matters and it's also used to, uh, to give a reward to those who win or who finish the race. So imagine an Olympic, okay? So you got runners, you have the, good example, you have the uh, bronze, silver, bronze, silver, and gold. That's kind of like a Bema seat, if you will. Okay, so the, the, the runners, or those who are in the race, they come to the Bema seat, and those who are there to judge, give them their reward. Are you understanding what I'm saying? The judgment seat, or the Bema seat, is reserved for Christians. Now, this reward that is given on the, at the Bema seat is not reward necessarily for bad things done. It's for how you place, if I can go into, into the Olympic. So if you come in third place, well, you will get your reward to the place that you came in. It is not for the bad things that you do. Uh -uh. Understand it. It's your so again, sum total it's sum of your of one life. life. So he will judge us. Again, he will issue or repay us a reward based on how we lived our lives. Typically, when people hear the judgment seat of Christ, it's all, oh, God's going to judge me. Yes, he's going to judge you, but you know what? It's not a penalty that he's handed out to you. It's a reward for what you have done.